The Heat will let it play out. It's over. At last, the long wait is over. On a night when the whole team's commentators say this. And the home team superstar gets ejected. What silver lining could there be for Atlanta? Well, we'll take a look at it while looking at the Denver Nuggets. So three technicals to be shot. One game after Jamal Murray's ejection. He came back in excellent form, scoring 29 points on 12 or 15 shooting, including 4 or 5 from 3-point range, and adding 9 rebounds to his contributions. I think we can comfortably say Jamal Murray is back to 100% health. Jackson. The rest of the offense was very active, stealing the ball nine times, securing 14 offensive rebounds, and forcing Atlanta into 10 turnovers, which led to 12 points off turnovers. What a shooter. Set something up. Denver's starting lineup made Atlanta's team look like it was just a scrimmage. Aaron Gordon has been of concern to me simply because he was out a couple of games because of a heel issue. As a person who's had, who had a heel issue with myself, I know it's not easy to get over it. But those concerns were put to rest early. Aaron, Aaron Gordon bullied the entire Atlanta. Aaron Gordon. But those concerns were put to rest early as Aaron Gordon bullied the entire Atlanta Hawks front court. He ended up shooting 7 of 10 from the field, including 4 or 5 free throws, ended up, and he ended up with 18 points and 12 rebounds. I really don't think there's anything left to say about Nikola Jokic. The man had a masterful game, 25 points. Las Vegas kid, went as we mentioned, Gonzaga had a great, great run with now KCP. Jokic diving to the hole, laying it in. A rare home game. Back on the road tomorrow. Two game series in Toronto coming up. Here's Jokic. Jokic, look at that pass. Oh my goodness. Sets up Caldwell Pope. Jokic against Capella. Oh, Two block shots, especially one gorgeous from recovery block shot on Clint Capella. When Clint Capella had a op wide open dunk. No whistle. He also had nine assists and eight rebounds, two offensive rebounds. Shot six for seven from the free throw line and nine for 13 from the field in 36 minutes of play. In fact, at the end of the game, the only person still hustling on defense was Joker. The game was over. <laughs> As for Denver's bench, there's not enough to be said for the effort Strother put into the game. He ended up with 22 points. The next closest player was Reggie Jackson, who had 12 points and 6 assists. The pick and roll game was on for him. Um, in addition to Strother's 22 points, which may be over Strother's performance, in addition to Strother's performance, which may be overshadowed just by the points he scored, the man had five steals on his own. Um, he hit six of 11 three-point shots, um, and he hit six of 11 three-point shots. Overall, from the field, he went eight for 16. It was amazing to watch the man play. He it was it was a very beautiful performance from Strother. Holy smoke, this kid! Still three minutes to go, 250 to be exact in the quarter. And Brown with the slam. The energy on defense continued with the bench mob as they blocked three of the total eight blocks that the Denver Nuggets had. Murray rejected. Was there any silver lining for the Hawks? Not that I can point out. On offense, these guys know how to put the ball in the bucket, but then every professional should know how to do that. The problem that the 
Atlanta Hawks have is that they are not a big team, which means a lot of teams that have power forwards or centers that have a lot of teams that have power forwards or centers that are very proficient with the basketball can always take advantage of this team. Trey Young is excellent on offense, so is DeJounte Murray. But other than those two, there's not much more to talk about. Uh, they have a lot of potential, but they have to have a system that fosters them and actually uh, makes them reach their potential. DeJounte Murray ended up with 21 points on 8 of 22 shooting. It, he had to contend with Reggie Jackson, Brown, uh, KCP. By the way, KCP has excellent defense, I have to admit. Uh, Trey Young ended up with 19, 5 of 12 shooting, 2 for 5 from 3. Uh, if you believe in plus minuses, he was a minus 10, pretty much the biggest minus on the team. Clint Capella had 14 points. Uh, one of the luckiest men in the world. He grew up to 7 feet. He only had 8 rebounds in 28 minutes. Sadiq Bey played 40 minutes, had 16 points, 6 of 11 shooting, 3 of 1 from 3. But as I mentioned, they really don't have anybody else that's a silver lining. Okongwu has a lot of potential. 3 of 5 from the field. Uh, one block shot, six rebounds, three assists. Very versatile player, but he just might be on the wrong team. There was a Wesley Matthews sighting. As you could, <laughs> man, it's been forever. But on the night, the top, the the man of the night was Bogdan Bogdanovich. Eleven of twenty-four from the field, ten for seventeen from three, two for two free throws, three rebounds, three assists two steals, and he ended up with an amazing, impressive, scintillating 40 points. It was an excellent game to watch, but it felt more like a recreation league game where <laughs> if it did not feel like a, it did not feel like it was a bunch of NBA players playing. It felt like it was a bunch of recreation league. It just felt like a preseason game, and I'm not even talking about a real preseason game. And, oh, my bad. It felt like an exhibition game. It did not feel like a real game, honestly. Anyway, that is it for the Atlanta Hawks. Enjoyed the last few highlights of Bo of Bogdanovich, and I'll come to my conclusion once we finish watching his highlights. Wesley Matthews, get it to it one more. There you go. Long rebound, Murray over the top to Sadiq. Bogey goes in and backs it in. Jamal Murray poked away by Clint. Bogey for three. Yes, that cuts it to nine. Bogey got it. 37. Bogey, number 10. Nope. Game that they needed. Um, I showed the Michael Porter Jr. highlight here because he only made one field goal out of 11. I've always said playing out of position for Michael Porter Jr. is not the easiest thing for him to do simply because it's not consistent and he has to figure it out as he goes. Uh, Strother played a very good role in today's in tonight's game, shooting six for shooting all of making all those buckets and look who was at the end of the bench cheering for him mpj thanks for watching take care it is man this guy is cooking